learn even more about the history of the Eurovision Song Contest. So buckle up! Ja, nu ska Petra bjuda oss på en Eurovision historik och pass på vår programledare kan in the tänka att dyka upp i klippet. A group of wise men sat down in a room and shared a dream. A dream that they could unite Europe through the power of music. They created the Eurovision Song Contest. The expectations were huge and the show was an immediate hit. And already in 1957 we got our first juicy Eurovision scandal. The sexually liberated Danish people sent a couple that at the end of their song <gasps> kissed. Get a room. Today we have Justin Bieber, but in 1958 we had the Italian heartthrob Domenico Modugno. And when he sang, the contest got its first massive hit. And they kept coming. France Gall, Vicky Leandros, and the handsome Udo Jürgens. Merci. You're welcome. Merci. Yes, you're welcome. Merci. You're welcome! In 1968, the contest went from black and white to color. According to my good friend Cliff, that was definitely something worth celebrating. In the 70s, the attitude towards Eurovision changed. Especially in Sweden, where people were protesting, saying the show was too commercial. Well, duh. Thank God the rest of Europe kept the show going more colorful and glamorous than ever. The Eurovision was here to stay, and thanks to the wonderful, slightly over-choreographed Germans, the 70s ended with a bang. 